What's good, YouTube, man? We finally back with another video. So today, man, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I know I missed last Saturday, but trust me, y'all, man. Bear with me. I'm back, y'all. So y'all can see as the title just popped up, I'm about to be doing a low taper for my boy. You feel me? It's my long-term friend I went to high school with. We got back in content and my bad. We got back in connection with. And you feel me, you know, now since I moved to Houston and everything, I came back to Cali and everything. So, like I'm saying, so anyways, we're going to get into it. So, you see, I put my first guideline in with my ball trimmers cleaned up the bottom. And now I'm following up with the lever fully open. And I'm going up an inch. And I'm just being consistent with that, going all the way around the head, making sure that it's even all the way around. Guys, I must stress this enough. This is the very important step of the fade. Whether you call it a fade or a taper, this is the most important step. If this part isn't right, then your whole taper fade isn't going to come out right. So right here, I'd have come down and I'm halfway, you know, just knocking at it, being consistent with it. And right here... I go ahead and close the lever all the way and I'm just flicking out for me I like to over exaggerate because it gives me that feel like as if I'm actually you know flicking that line out that's for all you beginner barbers after that I follow it up with my babyless trimmers and then I'm knocking at that line that I put it in whatever you set your guideline in that's what you take it out with so as you guys can see you know I, I do my fade down method you know, we did a two guard against the grain on his head. And now I'm just, for safety reasons, I'm just going again with the two guard. And then I'm about to work my way down. So right here, you can see I'm with the one and a half guard all the way open. And I'm just knocking at that middle line, that dark line that you see. And then I'm going to go from the one and a half to the one and a half all the way closed. For me, I like the one, I like the wall guards. So I like to... For me, especially for me, you know, since I've been cutting hair for so long, I like to skip steps, but I prefer you guys go from all the way open, halfway closed. And that's the only step that I do with the one and a half guard. I skip from all the way from all the way open to close. It's the only guard that I will skip. So right here, as you can see, I believe that I'm fully closed right now. And then boom, I'm going in with my one guard all the way open and I'm knocking that line. As you guys can see that that line is finally starting to, you know, slowly, slowly smoothing and come all the way out. And I'm just taking my time while I'm doing this. Make sure you guys take your time. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you guys take the, my fault. Make sure you guys take your time. Make sure you guys take your time. You see what I'm doing? I'm just flicking out because I don't want to create another harsh guideline on my client's head. And right here, you see me play with the little lever. I'm going halfway now. And, you know, I'm right now, when I go halfway with the one guard, I'm starting to only use my corners. That is very important when you're fading down. When you put that one guard all the way on, you could use the whole guard for the one guard all the way open, but once you knock it down to the one guard fully closed or halfway, use your corners mostly. And then I flip the clipper over and I'm hitting that line just to smoothen things out a little bit more to make it, the line come out easier for me. You wanna make this process easier for yourself. You wanna work smarter, not harder. And that's the game of this industry when you get into the barber industry. You want to make sure eventually that your cuts is, you know, no more than an hour. Usually for me, I take hours on cuts because I take my time. I want the client to feel like as if they are not being rushed and I'm not just trying to rush and just take their money. You know, it's more than just a haircut. It's a conversation and everything. So as you guys can see, I'm fully closed and I'm just knocking at that line and it's pretty much it's pretty much um, fully out. And then right here, what I'm doing right here is I'm going with my half guard. My half guard, but I don't start fully open. For the beginner barber, start fully open and then slowly work your way and close it. I know my clipper, and that's another thing. Know your clipper. So what you need to do, what I'm doing right here is I started with a halfway open. And then now, after that, I will close it. 
But mind you, I'm only using my corners. Only use your corners because remember, you can only cut hair off. You can never put hair back on. And that's vitally important. So my boy wanted a low taper on the sides. So I set my guideline first, making that little C shape just to give a little bit more, you know, blemish, a little more foundation, you guys. And then right here for the low taper, since I'm only working in a small area, I am literally only using my corners. You may not see it in the video, but I'm really only using the corner of my blade. And that's honestly all I need. Because if I was to use the whole entire blade, I would take off too much hair. It wouldn't even look like a taper. It would look like a half done fade, if that kind of made sense. But, you know, the steps that I did for the back, that's what I'm doing for the side taper. And honestly, that's it. Like, that's literally it. That's the game of cutting hair. You know, being consistent with your work. You know, don't get too down on yourself when you're starting this fade down uh, process and the fade down method because a lot of barbers don't teach the fade down method. So I'm here to teach you guys it. It may not come out how you want it at first, but all, all barbering is is repetition. So right here, you see me go with the two guard clothes like I did from the back. And now I'm with the one guard all the way, one, one and a half guard all the way open. And I'm just knocking at that line. You know, just being consistent with my work and, you know, just staying, you know, consistent and making sure that that making sure that that blade is actually cutting the hair. And that is very important. You guys might hear some background noise, my bad, but currently I'm driving. I'm just trying to get this video out for you guys. It's this truck right here on the side of me. But, you know, at the end of the day, the grind don't stop. You know what I'm saying? And right here, I'm coming in with the one guard all the way open, and I'm hitting that line. You can see, you can see for yourself. And the reason why I like the fade down method is honestly because you cannot really mess up on a fade down method. You know why? Because you're preventing yourself from going up too high, and that's kind of why I like it. And also, you are literally stacking guards, you know? Like if a one and a half doesn't get that line out, oh, it's okay, because you got that one guard. If the one guard fully closed don't get that line out, you got that half guard. If the half guard don't get the line out, you can always take the guard, the half guard off, that's what barbers don't tell you, and use your open blade. Your open blade is the same thing as the half guard fully closed. People don't tell you that, but I'm here to give you all the game, because when I started out, that's what I wanted. So right here, I'm fully closed. You guys can see that faint line. You know what I'm saying? And right here, I'm just flicking out. I believe this is the half guard as we speak right now. And, you know, it's still a little faint line. And as you guys can see what I was talking about, I'm going to take that half guard off and I'm going to use my corners just to detail. And make sure you guys understand detailing is very key. Detailing is going to set you apart from any other barber. And that's a fact. And then right here, I'm going to do the same exact steps on this side of the hair. I'm going to set in my guideline, as you guys can see, you know, knock it off. I didn't show the beard only because I didn't have any more storage on my phone at the time. When I got done with the haircut, I was like, I was all bummed out because I didn't get to show you guys the beard. But at the end of the day, you feel me? I want to stay still be consistent. And at the end of the day, this is still content. I showed you the taper in the back and the taper on the sides. And then a little bit of the hairline ended up cutting off. That's all I really got. You'll see at the end. But you guys know you can always go watch my other videos and see how I line up the hair and everything else like that. But at the end of the day, you feel me? I just wanted to show my um, supporters that, you know, I'm going to be consistent with this no matter what. I'm going to give out content no matter what. Day by day, I'm trying to get better with content creating and stuff like that. So just bear with me. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And please give this a thumb up down below. Please, 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 please. Just to put me in that YouTube algorithm even more. So right here, I'm going with my two guard fully closed. And you know, I'm mind you, you see what I just did right there? I pulled the ear down and I went behind the ear. A lot of barbers don't tell you that. But honestly, you need to do that. You're going to see me do that for every guard that I use. It's very important. The way that his hair is set up, it's not coarse. It's kind of like 
um, it's fine and it's it's just fine here, you know. So all I could really do is just stay focused and you know stay true to my true to my you know fading technique and everything will come out. Just just trust your process and always be confident in your work. That is another thing, you guys. Right here, I'm with the 1.5 guard fully closed and. You know, I'm just here to give you guys some more tips. You know, let me know down below what other haircut videos you want me to see, whether it's a mohawk tutorial, whether it's a, you know, a taper or a fade, a skin fade, you know, whatever, lineup prep, anything. I will be doing videos for you guys. If you guys have any other questions, trust me, I get all your messages. I'll be willing to respond. You know what I'm saying? And also my work, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can go follow me at Chris Got Cuts on instagram that's where all my work is as well so right here i'm right here sitting on the one guard all the way open i'm just knocking at that line and then i believe i just closed it right here and i'm just hitting that line that line is very i can still see it and you know i'm just staying consistent you can see how i'm using both edges both corners because i don't want to take i don't want to go too high because then it's gonna offset the fade. And then right here, I follow it up with the half guard, halfway open. Now I'm only using my corners. And then you'll see me detail this side when I take off the guard and I'm only using lever open. So if you guys like this video, if you guys want any more videos from me, Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for your boy Chris Got Cuts. For your boy Chris, man. Make sure you guys turn your post notifications on because so that you guys know when I'm going to be posting, when you guys know that when I'm dropping or when I'm sending out something to the community. And then right here, you know, I start from the middle, and then I start, and I go over to the left side, and then I go right back over to the right side. And... I didn't get the full hairline, but you guys will see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You see the little pop-up. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Again, join the Chris Got Cuts family. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it's your boy Chris24, man. It's your boy Chris Got Cuts, and we are out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.